Hey, he, like I was mentioning earlier, y'all got enemies. All right, who who would y'all say your enemies are? They're not the ops. <laughs> but who are the ops? But who are the ops to so-called blacks and stems? White people, right? Chief Devil, man. So God. What did the Lord say about white people in the Bible? You want us to read about what the Lord says about white people in the Bible? You think God likes or loves everybody? Okay. But did the Lord say, let my people go? Did he, when he said let everybody go and the, and the, uh, the Chinese man? No, he didn't say that. When the ancient Egyptians had the Hebrews in slavery, you also had Africans in slavery. You also had Ethiopians in slavery. You also had uh, 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 Ammonites in slavery. But the Lord said, let my people go. Right. Right? Read that. But the Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Read it out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. The Lord said, whoever is ruling the world today is in the hands of the wicked. Who's right. the wicked on the earth that rules the world? White people, right? right. right. They're wicked, man. Right. Because only a wicked man would put transgenderism in the, in the nieces fourth grade class. Right now, give her the book ABC. Only a wicked man would have promote uh, them lesbianism, witchcraft, idolatry on earth, man. Right. Right. And only the wicked man would set himself up as the son of God, man. That's the wicked, man. Those are your enemies, man. Read that, kid. And the reason why we in this lower state still is because we look to our enemies instead of looking to the most high God. Read that. The book of limitation. Chapter 4 verse 17. Yeah. As for us. As for what? As for us. As for us, we don't. Our eyes as has yet fell for our vain help. Our eyes fell for a vain help. Meaning the help that is don't work. It's not gonna help you. It's staying, it's standing. Right? We look to the so-called white man, we look to Joe Biden's helper. Y'all remember that big spirit? If you if you didn't vote for Joe Biden, you weren't black. Now what uh, happened? You vote for Joe Biden and he don't do a damn thing for you. The first thing he legalized was LGBTQ. The second thing that he legalized was that you can be a transgender in the U.S. Army. Right. What the hell did he do for y'all, man? Crack pipes. See, and, and in the crack pipes in the community, man. <laughs> Madness. Madness. That ain't help. You voted for a man to give you crack pipes. You know what? As for us. As for what? As for us. Our eyes have yet felt our faith help right. and want you. We have once for a nation that cannot save us. Could save us. That cannot save us. They can deliver, buddy. That cannot save us. We watch for a nation that can't save y'all, man. Grandma's still praying to damn uh, Jesus Cristo. Right, this guy right here. Right with the damn, yeah, man. At the church, talking about this week to week. Right, this this uh, last week I gave him eight hundred dollars. I will give him nine hundred. Right this week, and then next week I'm gonna go for a thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go for a thousand dollars for pastor. Pastor getting the sack. Pastor rolling up in Benzes, man. Pastor wasn't there last Sunday because he was in Montego Bay. Which with grandma's check. And grandma trying to make him give him eleven hundred dollars, man. Right? He said, Oh, I remember that, brother. I went to the damn day judge. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be back out there soon, very soon, by the teaching our people. You know your Israelite, right? Oh I'm crazy. Right? Yeah, we see that brother everywhere. Alright, he is like that. But yeah, man, we watch for a nation that can't save us, man. Go to Psalm chapter 81, verse 3. That's our people, man. Right? I don't know who they are. The book of Psalm. Book of Psalm. Chapter 83. And first of all, what? Keep not thou silent, oh God. Uh, this is King David speaking. King David was a mighty Jew, I think, in the Bible. A man of war, slain hundreds and thousands of men. Right. Right? Now let, let's see what he says, read on. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. He was getting bullied or jumped, and your father was across the street, you see his window open, you will call out to your father. You will say, hey, dad, come help me, man. I'm getting jumped out here, right? Read on. For lo, our enemies, make, our what? Our enemies, right. make us the most, and they that hate thee are lifting up their head. Right? Go, hold that and go to Psalms. Oh my gosh, you know what I'm saying? Go to Psalms 81 and 14. Don't you know? Do you know God has haters? Y'all know God got, God got haters, man? And we got haters, man. Right. We got people that hate on us. Right? And the Lord literally has haters, man. Read them. 
Hey, what? Verse 14. Verse 15. The haters of the Lord. The what? Haters of the Lord. The Lord got haters, man. The Lord got, hey, if you chose something and you ain't choose somebody else, they like, why you choose him? He choose me. I'm better than him, man. Right? Who do you think these nations think about y'all? They put, it was a joint conspiracy to put you a slave because the God chose you, bro. Right, read on. Should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. And, there, and these haters, of God's haters, these East Indians, these Arabs, the so-called white people that are smiling right now, who stole your nationality, put you on a slave ship, they will submit to God and his people, man. They will submit to our shot and his people, and we are his people. Right, go back to Psalm 71, verse 10. Are we on, King? And they looked up the heads. These people got prideful. And now the sons are against the hidden ones. Who's the hidden ones? Who's the people that don't know who they are? Who's the people that's hidden in the earth that calls themselves ten different nationalities? Right? You know what? They have said, "Come, and let us come to the from being a nation." And that's what they did to y'all. Right? They came to the EU, the United Nations, at the big ass round table every year. And they talk about how they can cut you off from being a nation of people. Right. What do we got to do? I think, uh, look, Tom, we got to put more cocaine in your neighborhoods. Jack, we did that last year. Well, it's, it's heroin this year. No, no, we, we need more guns in our neighborhood. That's what they're going to do. No, 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 no. Plan Parenthood on every corner with the churches. This, this is the talk they have every day, man. Right. Go over there trying to damn gangbang and kill each other and worry about what Tasha doing tonight. They worried about what you about to be doing in 10 years, man. Right. But I predict that these so and so amount of black people will fill up this prison over here. Right? Okay, by 2044, we should have this S amount of black people. We put enough cocaine and guns in their neighborhood. We should have this many kids in jail. Okay, let's fund it and let's make some money off it. That's what they're talking about, man. Right? They've gotten prideful against you on the most high God. They think they are God. You know what? That's the name of Israel. That's the what? That's the name of Israel. Say you don't know what Israel is. Now we don't even know what Israel is anymore. Right? right now we call ourselves all these different nationalities walking up and down, not knowing who we are, because they cut the name of Israel off from being a uh, uh, name, from being a nation, man. Huh? Right? You know what? For they have consulted together with blood to sit. Right? They consult together with one to sit. You heard about the Russian Ukraine crisis, right? Now these nations can go to war for anything, but when it comes to letting the so-called blackest man, man, a Native American man know who they are, hey, they put everything to the side and they say, okay, let's handle that later. We got a problem right now. Right. So waking up, right? We got a problem right now, right? Let's put this war to the side. Let's, I know I owe you trillions of dollars, but we can talk about that later, right? Let's talk about how these people are about to rule the world again, man. Right? Right. Because if they know who they are, our playtime is up. Well, we can't we can't keep oppressing them anymore, man. We can't keep having them build our schools and build our cities anymore, man. Right. These people cannot know who they are, right? You know what? They are confederate against me. Right. The tabernacles of Edom. The who? The tabernacles of Edom. Turn that side around, son. Right, yes, I don't see the tabernacle nation. Right now, the Lord is about to listen to the name of people that was there at that round table and took your nationality from you. The who? The Tabernacles of Eden. The first name on that list is the so-called white man. The damn Edomites, man. These people. Right? Read on. The Ishmaelites. The who? The Ishmaelites. You got the Arabs in there, man. The Sub-Saharan slave trade, 14 million of your people went into slavery and learned Islam. Right? And now we is and now we all Muslims. Right? The same way you learn Christianity is the same way you got Islam. It's through a slave trade. Right, read on? Of Moab. Of who? Of Moab. You have the so-called Chinese man in there too. In your neighborhood, they own all your rat, cat, and dog shops, man. Right? They own all of it, man. And you eating this shit, bro. And look, look at them. They know. And the most high made a manifest. And they'll tell you, they don't even eat that thing, man. They don't eat what you eat. Over to a 79th Street, they're giving you rat, cat, dog, and porcupine. And you think you eat it. <laughs> it's, it's true, man. And you think they're giving that to their, their leftovers going back to their house? That's mad. You talking about, this is good, too. Really, too. This is good, kid. Yeah, I like this. No, man. What's going on? Man. Right. You know what I mean? Look, look, look. Look, look, look. See that? 10 million of damn doggies in the world <laughs> going missing, man. Right? Because it's, it's in your friend Xavier, the Chinese boy, is in his parents' apartment. 
somewhere, right? On your plate, talk about Tyrone. Oh, you hungry today? I got some egg rolls from going off, man. Right? My mom thought it was good to speak to you, Tyrone. We see you was hungry. No, man, they're trying to kill you, man. Right? right? So the Lord said they had a they pay a part in this as well. They hit you too. You know? And the Hagarians. Right. Good ball. Right, those are African nations, the dirty, slimy Africans that sold you to the so-called white men. Yeah. You know? And Ammon. And yeah, who? And Ammon. Who is the Ammonites? Right? See all them dogs in China, man? Right? Madness. Skinning them alive. Send them back over here for you to eat on 79th Street at Lean Wings Tire Shop. Right? Hey, look though. The ja he said, hey, Ammon, the so-called Japanese man on all your spots. Your girl says she's gonna get her nails done. She going to this man's shop across the street, right? Lined up Saturday morning at 9 a.m. because the doors open at 9.30, right? Hey, can I get $200? It's for this shop right here. The Japanese man, right? Sisters, I have one quick question. When y'all get your nails done, isn't it always in a shop owned by the Japanese man? Japanese. Yeah, yeah, see that? That's, and she didn't hear nothing we just said. I told you, they own all your shops, man. Right? Right. Plus your enemies, read on. And Amalek! And who? And Amalek! Amalek is the biblical nationality of this man. Y'all see this man right here? Look at this man right here. This is the man that stole your nationality, put you on a slave ship, paid for it, had you come over here, work for free for 400 years for $4 trillion while he pretends to be you. Right. Right? He stole your language. They fought a 3,000 year war on your land right now. They're fighting a war on your land. No peace in the Middle East. While we over here banging blocks, and hating our sister because she got on what we, what we got on. Right. All right? You know what? The Philistines right. with the inhabitants of Tyre, right. a sword. Right, you got Asher, you got the Assyrians in there as well. So we just ran off a list of your enemies, man. And these are the people that don't care about you. Right. These are the people every day that uh, are working in your neighborhood. See, look at her. Right, look at her. Right, she don't care about you. The Lord said, do not sell on the Sabbath day. But she, if you ask her, she will sell you something right now. Because she don't give a damn about you. Read that song, seventy one and ten. But the song chapter seventy one and verse ten. Right. No. Um, my enemies speak. My what? For my, my enemies, enemies right? speak against me. My enemies speak against us, man. Read on. And they and they that lay wait for my soul. What did they do? They that lay wait for my soul. They don't really care about taking your money. They take your soul every day, man. They literally take your soul with what? Uh, predictive programming. Right? They put out certain rappers on purpose just so our women can follow after these rappers and our men can follow after these rappers so we can grow up to be a generation of thugs and niggas. Right? Right? And they can grow up to be lawyers so they can a uh, 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 lawyer your damn case, man. Right? Read on. Take counsel together. They do what? Take counsel together. Read on. Say, God have forsaken him. What they say about us? God have forsaken him. him. Read, read that again. God has forsaken you. Yeah. And these nations say that the Most High God, our Heavenly Father, has forsaken us. But the Lord has never forsaken us. What? Go to Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. The Lord is still here. The Lord's seen all these things. What do you think the Lord is going to do to his enemies? What do you think the Lord is going to do to his enemies? What do y'all say? Huh? He's going to destroy them, right? Go to Ezekiel 25 and 12. Actually, which one? The book of Malachi, chapter 3, and verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. The Lord doesn't change, you know? Therefore, these sons of Jacob are not consumed. These sons of Jacob are not consumed. And they always say, single handedly, if every other nation of people went through what Black Spanish and Native Americans went through, they wouldn't have survived in the nation. They would have been extinct. Right. But the Lord said he doesn't change. That's why we're still here to this very day. Right. If you think if it was up to these people right here, we would not be existing as a nation anymore. That's right. They would work you all the way to the last Israelite man uh. and woman. Uh. And then killed you. And then killed you. Uh. But the Lord said he don't change. He said, My sons and daughters, they gonna be the, the earth was created for them. I know they in punishment right there, but they ain't going no damn way. Right? Right. They gonna be here forever. And now you up here learning who you are. Now, what is the Lord going to do to his enemies? What is Ezekiel 25 and 12? We got to read about what the Lord is going to do to these people that put us in slavery. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 25 and verse number 12. Read it out. That saith the Lord God. No, that saith me. That saith the Lord God. That saith Yahweh. Read on. Because that Edom have dwelt against the house of Judah. Edom, these people. 
they dealt against the house of Judah, Israel. Read on. By taking vengeance. By doing what? By taking vengeance. And have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. And will cut off man and beast from it. The Lord said he's gonna cut off man and beast from these nations from this nation here. There's gonna come a point in time where these people are not gonna exist on earth, bro. Right, read on. And I'll make it desolate from to mine, and they of the hands shall fall by the sword. Shall what? Shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. The Lord said he's gonna get paid back. See, a lot of people say God is not about revenge. God is definitely about revenge. God loves vengeance. Especially for those that do his people wrong. He said he's going to lay his vengeance on these people. But how, how is he going to do it? By the hand of my people Israel. By the what? By the hand of my people Israel. Go to Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 7. The Lord said he's going to destroy these people and pay vengeance for these people by the hand of his people Israel. That's right. Meaning his chosen people that's been keeping his law such commandments when that time comes, we're going to hunt these people down. Right. We're, they're going to have a trail of tears. They're going to have a slave trade, man. You might know, read this, King. Book of Leviticus, chapter 6 and verse 7. 26, no. 26 and verse 7. No. And ye shall chase your enemy. Hey, what are we going to do? And ye shall chase your enemy. We're going to be chasing these people up and down earth, man. Read on. And they shall fall before you by the sword. How are they going to fall? They shall fall before you by the sword. Isn't that righteous judgment? Right? If they killed us for millions of uh, 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 hundreds of years, we gotta kill them. We gotta put them in chains. If you're ruling, you gotta have slavery. You gotta have servants. You gotta have people at your back in the call. They literally pass their fathers down to their children. What do you think is gonna happen to them? You know? And the five of you shall chase a hundred. Imagine five men chase a hundred people. But, oh my God, the Israelites are coming? Who let the Israelites do the dough? Right? And who let the Israelites do the dough, man? Right? And all they hear is rumbling. The earth shaking like this. And they like this is going on man and they point it's the israelites and they run it up and down the block man these people running up and down and she kind of trip you know they always trip in the movies right they trip he said come on get up becky right and then she kind of running right and then next you know you snatch up by her hair and you drag her back and then tom says no right and then she disappeared to the dark night right and next time you see his wife again she picking she picking apples man all right put it on and a hundred of you shall put 10,000 to flight. And a hundred men gonna put a whole baseball stick or a whole uh, uh, football field to flight, man. This is what's coming in the kingdom of heaven, man. Y'all know how to get the kingdom of heaven? Y'all know how to get it? Right, I'm gonna show y'all. Go to Luke chapter 10 and verse number 20. I think that's my one. Luke 10 and 22. We gotta understand how to get the kingdom of heaven. Don't y'all want this? Don't y'all want rulership? Go to Revelation 3 and 19. Y'all don't want rulership? shit? I do, right? Right. Are y'all tired of... Uh, 3 and verse 19. Read out. As many as I love, I rebuke and cast. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice... Verse 21. To him that overcome, overcome, overcome it, will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Right, and the Lord said, if you overcome the trials and tribulations, you come back to who you are. Right, don't give a damn about what society thinks of you, man. But at the end, it's like you get the fringes. If you overcome all them trials and tribulations, he will let you sit with him on his throne, man. All right, Rion? Even as I also overcame, right, the Lord overcame, and am set down with my Father in his throne. Right. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has until the church. Now the Lord said, hey, guess what? If you're going to overcome, you will be reigning the kingdom of heaven with him, bro. Right. Now we got to learn how to get the kingdom of heaven. Read that thing. The book of Luke. The book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 22. Get out. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth. Luke, chapter 10. Man, 25. Luke chapter 10 verse 25. You know. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and said to him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? So this man, this rich guy, came up to Jesus. He's like, Lord, how do I get eternal life? What do I do? I'm tired of paying taxes. I'm tired of seeing my brothers get sh shot down in the street to the Roman by the Romans and falling by the sword to the Romans. Right? We were at the bottom of society. Right? We hate each other. Uh, Lord, how do I get the kingdom? How do I get the hell up out of this place? I hate the Roman Empire. 
like the way we hate America. Right, you know what? He said unto him, what did he say? What is written in the law? What is what? What is written in the law? So for you to get the kingdom of heaven, y'all got to do what? Y'all repent and do what? Repentance needs to change. What are you changing into? You got to keep the law. What's written in the law? Right? And what were, when we read off the laws earlier, what were some of the laws that y'all got to keep? <laughs> Just ready. What, what can you eat? Right? What else? What can't you eat that come out the water? Right, without fins and scales, like what 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 would they be called? Like shrimp, crab lobster, those things, right? What do we have to wear? The fringes. The fringes. We gotta wear the fringes, right? And what does the fringes hope you do? Remember the what? Remember the commandments, right? It helps you remember the law. That's what the fringes help you do. It helps you remember the law so you can keep the law. And that's how you're going to get the kingdom of heaven. Right? And that's how you're going to get the kingdom of heaven. And that's how you're going to get rulership. All the enemies that's been suppressing your people for thousands of years, and hundreds of years, you're going to be able to rule on top of them in the kingdom. Right? And you're going to be able to have servants. You're going to be able to have slaves. Because these people are going to slavery. Right? Go to Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Right? Also, white people, anybody that had... God's people in slavery will be going into slavery in Christ's kingdom. Man. They're going to build up the walls. You think we're going to build up our own kingdom? Don't you know we built up every ancient civil civilization? Go to Isaiah chapter 16 verse 14. How in the hell is we going to build up our own kingdom, man? No, we're going to have workers for that. And they're not going to be on direct deposit. Read that. Book of Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. Yeah. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right, if any man have an ear, let him hear. You know what? He that leadeth into captivity. What the Lord say? He that leadeth into captivity. What did their forefathers do? He that leadeth into captivity. Those nations of people led our forefathers into slavery. Right? And the Arab man can't get away. Alright, you know what? Shall go into captivity. What's gonna happen to them in the kingdom? Shall go into captivity. Shall go into slavery, man. Right? These nations will go into slavery. Right. Thus saith the Lord. And that's when the red letter, right? You know what? He that killed with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. If you kill with the sword, you must die by the sword. Right. And the last time I checked, over 400 million Native Americans, not just kind of like Latinos and black people, were killed by the sword, bro. Uh -huh. All right, you know what? Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And we're patiently waiting to wrap these heathens' necks up in damn slave chains and bring them back to the land of Israel. Bro. That's right. We have them build up our walls like he built up their walls, bro. Read that, you. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 16 and verse 14. Get out! Chapter 16, 14. Entire 16, 14. Book of Isaiah. Chapter 16 and verse 14. Get out! That sounds us for them that are fucking thee. Shall come be thee, not to thee. Verse number 11. Therefore, thy gift shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That they may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. And that their kings may be brought. And that their what? That their, kings will be brought. Right, their Joe Bidens, right? Their Rockefellers, their Rothschilds, their kings will be brought to the men of the Lord, man. Right? Read on. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. And let's say they didn't want to serve the Lord in the kingdom of heaven. They will die, man. Right. That's this is the this is the God of the Bible, man. A lot of people don't know this God, man. Like we mentioned earlier. The Lord said, if you don't serve him in the kingdom of heaven, you will be put to death, man. Right? Do you understand that? So What's your nationality? Israelite. All right. praise to the Most High. All, right. All praise to the Most High. Y'all got any questions? All praise to the Most High. Y'all have, have any other biblical questions? Any other questions you, never, you, you always want it to be answered? It's the time to answer. It's the time to ask. Life, death, anything. Just let us know. We're going to get into the judgments of the Lord. Go to Malachi 4 and 1. Bro. No. Go on. I go to Malachi chapter 4 and verse 1. Malachi 4 and 1. I go to Isaiah 47 and verse 14. The book of Malachi chapter 4 and verse 1. Behold, the day coming. The day is coming fast. I'm talking about the days are coming very fast, man. Right. Right? I mean, June just flew by. July is flying by. Am I lying? July is flying by. May flew by. March flew by, man. But the Lord said the days are coming as what? That shall burn as an oak. That shall what? That shall burn as an oak. Days 
coming very fast where this war is going to burn as an oven, man. Nuclear missiles is coming to America, hey, for the sins of what they have done on Earth, man. Right. Did y'all know that um, nuclear missiles is coming to America? Well, in World War III, this great kingdom that everybody beholds, everybody that wants to come to, walk up and down Chicago, want to go to LA and New York, it's going to burn as an oven, man. Right. Right? Read on. That show burn as an oven. All the, all the proud. And all the what? All, all the, the proud. proud. All the proud people. The pride people. The ones that say they don't believe in a God. That walk up and down, do what the hell they want to do, man. Right? That scoff at the servants of the Lord. Right? What, what the Lord say about them? Yeah. And all that do wickedly. All that do wickedly, meaning going against God's laws on purpose. You know what? Shall be stuck. Shall be what? Shall be stuck. You ever seen stubble? You ever seen the, the charcoal at the end of the grill when it's done burning? Right? That black stuff, you gotta scrape it off. That's how the Lord said these people are gonna be stumbling that day. You know what? And the day that coming. And the day that coming shall what? Shall burn them up. Shall what? Shall burn them up. Shall burn them up. All right? You know what? Say the Lord of hope. No, say it me. Say the Lord of hope. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Hey, neither root meaning started from your toes to your branch to your head, man. From head to toe, these people will burn up, man. And it's the God of the Bible. Why is nobody talking about this in the Christian church? Right? Why is the Christian church not talking about the God of the Bible burning people up? Right? With nuclear missiles and nuclear fire, bro. Right? Right? Go to Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 7. Read that, please. Isaiah 47 verse 14. The book of Isaiah chapter 47 verse 14. Verse 14. No! They shall be a stubble. They shall be a what? They, they shall, shall be a stubble. stubble. What are these white people? They, they shall, shall be a stubble. stubble. The fire shall burn them. The what? The, the fire, fire shall burn them. Burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. And there is no delivering yourself from the power of God's flame. Right. He is a consuming fire, man. That fire don't go out. That fire don't sleep. The most I don't sleep. A lot of people think God sleep. God gotta turn off his nightlight in the heavens and tell the angels, all right, y'all. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with y'all in the morning. Why well, we got a meeting at 9 a.m. Y'all better get y'all asses up when I get up, all right? He's not doing that, man. The Lord don't sleep. Right. The Lord's judgments come at 3 06 a.m. when Ricky got shot. And then 10 o'clock in the morning when somebody get hit by a car. And then at 11 a.m. when somebody goes to the hospital. The, and then his judgments come again at 5 p.m. Why was somebody choke on a damn shrimp because they weren't supposed to be eating it? The Lord's judgment is 24 hours, bro. And don't stop, man. All right, read on. From the power of the flame, there shall not be a coal to warm at, right. nor fire to sit before. Right. Thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander everyone to his quarter. Right. None shall save thee. What the Lord say? None, None shall save thee. thee. Some people are going to be able to save America. None, None shall save thee. thee. They have the EU. None, None shall, shall save thee. thee. And America and the Bible is prophesied to be destroyed, and nobody's going to save America. What nation you think is going to stand up and say this is wrong? I'm tired of America needs to be on top. Now, every nation is tired of America ruling the world. Right? They're tired of that man being in charge of oppressing the nations, bro. That's why they said this week. Revelation 17. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 54, verse 7. Behold, as Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Babylon or America, right? Babylon is referred to as America in the Bible. We know And may all the us drunk. What do America do? And may all the us drunk. Everybody's drunk off the wine of America. That's why you have the so called Chinese man. He drops his kimonos and puts on a suit and tie and comes to America and says, Ooh, look at the bean. Right? And they look at a silver bean all day. Right? They look at a silver pencil bean all day. They take pictures and they send it on WhatsApp back to China. Right? They are drunk in this land. Right. The East Indian man. Right? The East I never seen a gay East Indian until I came until I was in America. Right? Do they come over here, they drop their garments and their gods, they serve this guy right here, and now they believe in LGBTQ. Right. The Arab woman drops all her garments and puts on skinny jeans and booty shorts. And they know damn well if they do that in Saudi Arabia, they're getting their toenails cut off. Man. Right. Right? They're getting their head stomped in. I'm talking about utterly stomped in. Why they Yalu Awak about, man? Right? That's what they're gonna do. But they come to America and they freak off. Right. And guess what? They're drunk off the wine of America. We don't. The nations have drunk over wine. The nations drunk off her wine. And what are the nations? 
Therefore, the nations are mad. No, they're happy. They're mad. They're upset. Man. These nations are upset. You think this Russia-Ukraine crisis is between Russia and Ukraine? No, it's a proxy war for America. America is literally giving billions of dollars of ammunition and defense mechanisms to Ukraine to fight Russia. If I was fighting you, and this brother kept giving you weapons to what me? Obviously, he's not for me, man. What? Obviously, he's my enemy, too. And that's what they're doing, man. So guess what? China, Russia, Iran, Iraq, uh, 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 North, uh, uh, what is it, South Korea, right? That was like in North Korea. All these nations hate America. Right. Shout out to shout out to no, shout out to your destruction, man. Right. All y'all are going into slavery in Christ's kingdom. Right. And I'm going to snatch you up when that happens, man. Right. right? It's going to happen, man. Right. Talking about this and talking about that, man. No, they are going into slavery, man. Todd, Jeff, and Stephen over there are going into slavery. That's right. And America will be burnt up, man. I don't know what land y'all from, but y'all better hurry up and get back to y'all land before missus comes to this place, man. Right. Right? They got, hey, they, they got to hurry up and get back to, go to Isaiah 13 and 13. These nations got to get back to their homeland, man. All right, read on from that. Babylon, Babylon is suddenly falling. What the Lord say? Babylon is suddenly falling. America is suddenly falling. Read on. And destroyed. And what? And destroyed. What is America? And destroyed. Hell for her. Take ball for her pain. If so, be she made, like, if so, be she made be healed. We will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Right. Forsake her. What the Lord say? Forsake her. Hey, forsake America. And let us go everyone into his own country. And let us go everyone into his own country. That's what they're gonna do. As war starts breaking up, right, and as the inflation starts rising in America, your cost of goods costs $50, your bread costs $50, your gas already costs damn near $10 right now. What you think gonna start happening? These people gonna start running up and down the street, they rioting, man. You seen it during the COVID-19 pandemic. What do you think is gonna happen when uh, she can't feed her son and you got food? This place is gonna break all hell. They're already defunding the police. Right. You could already be 18 in all these different states and just buy a firearm. What the hell do you think is gonna happen when the family part. kick off in this place, man? This place is finished, man. Right. Right, read that. Book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 13. Bring it out. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. The Lord said he's going to shake the heavens and the earth is going to remove out of her place. You know what? Damn, you got to imagine that, man. You don't think y'all seen the earthquake before? A 9.3 magnitude earthquake. He got rumbling all over the place. Right? Yeah, shit stuff falling down. When the Lord shakes the earth, man, it's going to be like something you've never experienced in your life. Right. He's gonna shake the heaven. Imagine you never seen the sky shake in your life, man. You see that, Rion? In the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. In the what? In the day of his fierce anger. He's coming back happy. In the day of his fierce anger. The Lord's coming back in the day of his fierce anger. Every time you move, every day you wake up in your life, remember I gotta keep God's commandments because he's coming back angry. And he comes back angry and he catches my black ass, I'm done. Right? Right? That's, that's what you gotta think, man. So you be like, okay, you know what? I'm in the mirror, I got my fringes on, I'm an Israelite, I got to keep God's commandments, I got my Bible with me. All right, it's time to go and fight these demons today, bro. And overcome this temptation so I can sit with the Lord on his throne, man. Right. But if you don't do that, man, the Lord's going to come back in this piece of anger and do what? And it shall be, and it shall be as the chaste robe, right? and as a sheep that no man take up, right? they shall... They shall every man turn to his own people right. and flee every one into his own land. And that's what's gonna happen, man. Read on. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. What's the Lord say? Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. The Lord will thrust you through, man. Right. Well, I'm talking about utterly thrust you through. What's going on, sister? You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Yeah. All right. Well, you see yourself on the side up here? We got good news if you do. Two seconds. Two. We got good news if you do. Huh? You got? You don't got two seconds for your brothers? Uh, two seconds, right? So if you see yourself on the sign up here, if you see yourself on the sign up here, we have great news for you. So what's your nationality according to your father? What would you say? Yeah, right? Right, you got to put Judah, right? All right, so Judah, right? The top tribe, right? The reason why I uh, was asking you that is because if you come from the tribe of Judah, right, you will be an Israelite, you will be part of God's chosen people. Right. Did you know that? 
or did you all think we were all equal on earth? So you knew we weren't all equal. There was just something about us, right? We just loved it better, right? Go to Deuteronomy 14, verse 2. I'm going to show you something. Now, these are the words of God. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. I'm going to show you something. Read that in Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse Let's validate it using the words of God. This is for you too, sister. Right, hanging on the fence right there, stroking her brain. Right? Yeah, it's for you too. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. Read it out. Thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord said we're a holy people. Holy means set apart. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, nobody can do anything like them. Uh, right. Right, read on. And the Lord have chosen thee. No, he chose everybody. The Lord have right. chosen thee. Right, the Lord chose you. Right. He chose you and, you and you to be a princess. You know? Right. To be a peculiar people unto himself. Right. Above all the nations. No, we eat. Above all the nations. No, we eat to a so-called white man. Above all the nations. That are upon the face of the earth. How do y'all feel about that? Being above all nations on the face of the earth. Huh? All right, so the point is, you are Israelite according to the Bible, a daughter of Zion, a princess walking the earth, and we got to keep God's commandments to get out of the situation we are in as black people. We are at the bottom of society, we disobeyed our Heavenly Father's laws, and we got to keep His laws. We got to be real women, real men, kings on the earth, man. Princesses, man. Not thoughts, not niggas, not any of these other terms, but royalty as Israelites. Does that make sense? I'm gonna have you take a fly from your brother over there. Hey, King. Hey, Ray. I'm gonna have you get a sister a fly. All right. You have any questions or information on that? No? No what? You don't got any questions? All right, come. I'll pray to myself. All right, you're an Israelite sister. All right.